come right back to the top. Yeah. Tundra, you're still holding on to that rope. What do you want to do? So seeing all of my other friends go down, I'm going to, since I still have 20 feet of rope that is not being used to go down, I'm going to tie it around either a tree branch or the tree itself. I'm just going to tie the rope to something very tightly and then go down myself. Okay, that's excellent. I'm going to give you inspiration because that's a wonderful idea. You know what inspiration is? You know what inspiration is? Uh, bardic inspiration? No. no. You, have a, you, have a, you have a special die. It's an inspiration die, which means that it's a special... It's a dice that I will give you. You have a free roll in case you ever make a... You have a roll that goes bad. So keep that in mind. You have an cool. inspiration Tackle roll. Him. Tackle the... Okay. So Torin... You're going to go ahead and roll. You see on your character sheet, you have a strength modifier, a plus three strength modifier. Yeah. Strength 17 and plus three. So you're going to roll a d20 and add your strength modifier to try and tackle him to the ground. Wait, the... He's going to, He's going to resist, though. Earlier, oh, yeah. so, I... Seventeen plus. All right. Oh, plus. Um, you rolled a natural seventeen. Okay. 15. Right. So you, you get twenty Wait. total. Yes, twenty. That is perfect. I rolled a nineteen. Oh. Torin gets to the end of the rope, and. She just tackles the poor thing to the ground, kicking the club away. You have now restrained this creature. The other guy who, who's us... got a face full of fire, he <laughs> sees who did the fire. He, he's, he just lunges himself at Torin. He just jumps at Torin. Torin, when is Torin's armor class? If you look on your character sheet. Armor class. Um, wait, where is armor class? At the top. At the top. Right next to initiative, usually. I think your armor class is 19. Am I correct? Um, yes. All right. So he's going to lunge at you. And I rolled a 17. It's not enough. He jumps at you, and you just step sidestep him. What's the plan? Are we going to need brute force again? <laughs> Uh, probably. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm going to try to take a fork and pick the lock. So you don't have actual locking pick, lock pick tools, do you? No, so I might have no. disadvantage, but I'm just try yes. trying to pick the lock with a fork. I have a that mess. is quite inventive, and I like it. Roll. Yes. You're going to roll a sleight no of hand. No one has lost. Okay, disadvantage. Them. Nobody has lost with them. I rolled two threes and oh one. no, one because his hand is a four, so my fork stuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys, uh, you're kind of wondering why is this orc sticking a fork in a door? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, the, the fork is permanently stuck inside the keyhole now. Well, we can't use anything else to try to uh, uh, open it. It's now. So I guess brute force it is. Again. <laughs> so who's going to try to brute force this time? Um, I'm the strongest, but I'm temporarily wounded. So maybe I should do that? Yes, I think that's a good idea. Go for it, Tendra. Yeah. So I'm going to looking around. I already have drawn, and I am going to bash it into the door. Go ahead and bash. Tundra bash. Watch away, my so friends. My attack is a 19 to hit. That is a really good hit. Roll for damage. Damage. 
Wait, so how many hit points do we all have left? I have four hit points left since I took five I damage. Have, I have ten. <laughs> yeah, my character is not made for taking hits. <laughs> all right, so we'll, we'll get to your hit points in a second. Let's see. Let's resolve the situation with the door. How much? Oh, she's smiling. She's smiling. That means she rolled. She must have rolled really good. Yeah. So it doesn't say you have a plus for anything to for the damage. So should I? Right. Because it doesn't say well, plus anything. Let's so I damage. rolled a 12 on my d12 for damage. So the door takes 12 damage. You roll a plus 3 for your... You add your strength modifier. Okay, so I... That is 15 damage. It does to the door. <laughs> it's a door. <laughs> you, you you just burst through this door and it's it's like... It's, it's, it's like cardboard to you. You burst through it, and you make your way inside a room. No problem. Easy peasy. All right. All of you see Torin cautiously sliding against the wall, avoiding the traps, because there's still traps on the, on the floor. And she gets to the bot, to the end of the corridor, and she just cautiously looks around the corridor. Now, Phoebe, you are standing quietly on the corner up against the wall and you have a, you have a weapon in hand yeah the long sword you have your long sword in hand you just look around the corner and you can see a hobgoblin and he's 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 just he's doing the same thing he's like leaning or up against the wall slowly dri- coming closer to the edge he hasn't seen you yet Everyone at the end of the corridor is watching, and they're like curiously wondering what's happening. What do you want to do? Um, run to everybody and or run to everyone and like alert them that there is a there's a um, hobgoblin that's going to come around the corner and see us. Okay. So maybe I should try to like intimidate him and maybe I'll say, Hey buddy, we're going to find that goblet one way or another. So either you're gonna talk or I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> no, no, don't hurt me. I want I want Phoebe, I want you to roll an intimidate. Nineteen. Twenty-two. Cool. <laughs> Sophia, mm-hmm. he's looking at you. He's like, he's crying. Help me! Help me! She's gonna hurt me. Well, um, well, just tell us where the goblet is, and we'll be happy. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> 